Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download, install and configure Azure CLI on Windows operating system. Go to learn.microsoft.com Then click on documentation, then click on Azure, then scroll down to language and tools. See here Azure CLI, click on it, see the definition here, Azure CLI means command line interface. The Azure CLI is a set of commands used to create and manage AWS resources. The Azure CLI is available across Azure services and is designed to get you working quickly with Azure with an emphasis on automation. Now we have to download. See here, this is the installation section. Click on install. Windows download. Scroll down. See here the latest stable version at the time of installation is 2.5.10. Here the latest version is this. You have to click on this latest release of Azure CLI 64 bit. See download has been started. You can also get specific version by copying this link. See download is completed. Paste here. Here you, we have to replace version number like 5.19.1 whatever the version you know. Like this you have to edit and hit enter. So it automatically downloads. So I am cancelling this one. Now click on this. Azure CLI MSI file. Click on I accept the terms in the license agreement. This is the license terms of Azure CLI. Then click on install. If you receive user account control pop up, you have to click on S. See, installation is completed successfully. Click on finish. Now open command prompt or PowerShell. Run as administrator. Click on S. Yes. Now type AZ. We receive output which means we have installed Azure CLI. Yeah, we have received output. Clear the screen by pressing Ctrl L. Now type ag hyphen hyphen version. See, this is the version of CLI, this is the core version, and this is telemetry version. Remaining are like Azure Management Service version. And also see here, notice your CLI is up to date. Now, next step is we have to configure. Azure CLI. Type AZ then login. This is my Microsoft Pre-Tier or Paid Subscription account. You have to select the account. Just click on it. See, we have successfully connected. Otherwise, here it is given. So, we won't get this one. Go to again PowerShell. See, we have successfully connected. Cloud name, this is the cloud name, this is the tenant ID, subscription name is pay as you go and the state is enabled, okay. This is the user name, this is the, I am hiding this one for security reasons, control L, now type AZ account show, see we got the same output again about the account information. Verify list of the groups, that, that means resource group. AZ 
group list c i have one group that is network watcher rz let's create another group by running az az group create hyphen hyphen name i am giving name as vms hyphen rz means resource group location i am going to use us east 2 then hit enter it is success let's verify again az is group list see now we have two groups the first one is network watches rz and second one that is created by us in this region this is in us east and this is us east 2 region we can verify the same by going to click on see this is azure portal click on home then click on subscription name then the left menu see here resource groups see here we have resource group create one more resource group test 2 i am changing region as us is to then click on review and create just create it see resource group is created again go to powershell type az group list see now we have three see this is the first one this is the second one and this is the third one so until now we have seen how to create a group in azure portal by using azure cli now create virtual network first let's verify list of the virtual networks available for my subscription search for network virtual network see i don't have any virtual network we can create virtual network by clicking on this create virtual network or click on create virtual network here we have to select subscription resource group name see we have these three resource groups then we have to provide the name for virtual network so these are useful while creating virtual network using azure cli open powershell az network vnet create then hyphen hyphen name then provide the name for virtual network here i am giving virtual network name as vms vnet 1 then resource group name resource group name i am giving this one that is vms rz vms hyphen rz then hyphen hyphen address prefix whatever the commands i am executing in this video are available in the video description subnet name i am giving vms hyphen subnet 1 then subnet prefix 10.0.0.0.24 and hit enter see there is error so what it is saying the following arguments are required that is resource group so here it is syntax error it is resource group hit enter success now the problem is spelling this resource not resource hit enter and one more error is the subnet info the ip address is wrong you have to give forward slash then hit enter again cid format is wrong it is success surely see it is success now go to portal and verify now click on resource groups then click on vms rz group see here we have one virtual network click on this virtual network 
see we have created this virtual network in this vm vms rz resource group then go to home then click on resource groups then click on resource group see here we have virtual network that is we have given see the name we can verify see name of virtual network is same click on it to get more information click on properties we have one subnet click on subnet see vm subnet one see the ip also go to our see subnet name is this is the subnet name see subnet then here subnet name is see here subnet name is this is the subnet name also see here ip range is this one here also ip4 address is this one if you want to create another subnet you have to click on here subnet in the same way if you want to get list of the virtual network use az az network vnet list see these are the see we have only one virtual network that is this one vmc network let's create another one resource group now create virtual network in this resource group create click on this create resources search for virtual network click on virtual network click on create then we test vnet one click on review on create this is the summary click on create see it automatically populated the things go to vnet test to wait until this deployment completes it is completed go to resource group click on refresh see still it is deploying it is succeeded refresh here see we have test vnet one again click on this one click on properties we have one subnet this is the subnet that is default one go to powershell again verify vnet same command az network vnet list this time we will get two virtual networks scroll up see this is the command go down see first one is test vnet1 and second one is vms vnet1 so we have created two virtual networks in two different resource groups now we will see how to draw vnet from this resource group that is vms vnet1 command is ac network vnet delay then hyphen hyphen name name is vms vnet1 vms hyphen vnet hyphen 1 then resource group resource group name is vms hyphen rc it enter see the command is okay now it has been dropped click on refresh still it is there wait some time surely it will become verify az command is az network vnet list see it is empty which means we don't have vnet virtual networks refresh here see it is gone In the same way if you want to drop or delete this resource group go to powershell az group then list see we have two resource groups this is the one and this is the other one so now we are going to drop this resource group simply az group delete then hyphen hyphen name then group name that is vms hyphen rz hit enter type y and hit enter for confirmation it is always recommended to delete the azure resources to avoid the charges see still it is running go to resource groups then click on refresh this may take time see it is success refresh 
see resource group gone how to download install and configure azure cli and windows operating system then we have seen how to create resource group virtual network subnets after that we have seen how to delete the resource groups networks and subnets for more azure videos and cloud videos please subscribe my channel thank you